Let's back to the markets, please. I see not a lot of green on the screen right now, but a, just a little bit. Uh, we have uh, Barnson. David Barnson's with us today. Uh, David, I've got to talk Blackstone with you. They reported yesterday J.P. Morgan gave them a downgrade. What do you say to that? Well, they raised the price target and then moved it to a neutral rating as a result of a 45% move up. But everything they said about it was very positive, and they raised the price target higher. And again, we don't care much what the sell side analysts have to say. You can look at their report card if you want. We're focused on our own bottom re up research. And as you know, Stuart, we've owned this thing since $20. Uh, it's grown the dividend as much as any stock I've ever seen. And we think over the next five years, you're going to see a lot more dividend growth still. How about IBM? You've talked about it in the past. I know you've liked it in the past as a dividend play and a dividend growth play. What's the story now? Yeah, we love the results yesterday. They're moving more and more of their business to recurring fee business. So it's more consistent, more dependable. They're monetizing AI. So that's something you're going to want to watch for more. You have a lot of companies talking about artificial intelligence. How many of them have actually found a way to make money on it? We think IBM is going to be a leader there, and you get a 4.8% dividend yield. 4.8%. I like that. Okay, that, that's a handsome dividend. Uh, Johnson & Johnson? Yeah, they were one of the big gainers so far this earnings season, up 7% yesterday. I've owned it for most of my career, professionally managing money. A uh, huge gainer. They've grown the dividend for over 60 years. Why did the stock go up so much yesterday? Their medical equipment business, the top line revenue, grew over 12% year over year, much higher than expectation. This is a very well-run company, Stuart. Uh, tell me the yield again, would you, for J&J? &J? Their, their yield is closer to 3%, but that's because the stock price has grown so much, and then you're buying the growth of that income over time. The yield at what we paid for the stock is like 20%. Yeah. Got it. Now, at Blackstone, back to them for just a second, at $106 a share, they are still yielding in dividends 3.7%, 3 3.8%. That's pretty good, I'd say. Well, and it's really more than that, Stuart, because remember, Blackstone's one of the few companies in the U.S. market that its dividend goes up and down each quarter. Yep. But on a full year basis, the dividend is still over 4%. And it's um, one of those companies that's growing the dividend about 8% per year. David, thank you very much for recommending Blackstone to me. I bought it and made money, and I thank you deeply. Thanks a lot, sir. See you again soon. Thanks, bro. Yes, sir.